Welcome to Sunset Motors. My name is Frank Gerard. This is a Sharp 2009 Class C motorhome. It's a Sunseeker by Forest River. Beautiful unit. It's a 3100 model number, which stands for about 32 foot long, which is a perfect size. Big enough for the whole family and not too big to get around the campground. Easy to maneuver, park anywhere, drives like a car. It does have the towing package, 7,500 pounds. How about this? Isn't this where we should all be? Beautiful. It's got your access ladder for the roof. It's a fiberglass roof. It's got a backup camera with a large screen inside, color camera with night vision. It's got a 16 foot power awning. We'll play with it later. It's in light and new condition. I spent about $10,000 on it with some upgrades. I just make it the way I would want it for myself. Put six new tires. It's got the automatic leveling jack. I guess we could start with that, with the leveling jack. It is on an E450 Ford chassis with a 6.8 gas V10. Plenty of power, reliable. This is a full automatic leveling jack. All you do is push the on button. We gotta put the parking brake on. Push the on button. That turns the machine on. Push it one time. And the, the legs come down. Then you push it again. I even shut the door. Push it again and the Front ones are coming down. That one's coming down. You should put a piece of wood underneath. Makes it nice and sturdy, especially on the soft campground or a slippery concrete like this. But it makes it nice and level, easy to set up. All right, here we go. We got the electric steps. This is where you control the lights, get a battery disconnect, and the power awning is here. I guess we can go ahead and do that. This is Camille, my assistant. Actually, my wife also. You push in the, oh, it won't do it because the engine's running. So we'll have to do that later. Sorry. All right, here we go. It's got the nice nylonium floor. Keeps it very easy to clean. As you can see, it's got some nice colors. Got the stainless double sink. Top. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. Everything's nice and clean. Does have an oven, microwave, with a turning table. There's the chair. It's got the cab over. Probably almost a queen size, looks like. You can put an air mattress or you can actually sleep on here. It's a cushion. You got your ladder to get up. That's removable, obviously. Part of the upgrade I, I've done is put a smart TV. It's 24 inch LCD. It only burns 51 watts, but they're on the individual inverters, so they will work without the generator or being plugged up. And if you have a hotspot on your phone, 
or a Wi-Fi in the campground. You can watch Netflix. It just got all the the apps, Amazon, Netflix, and so on. Very nice. Uh, I guess I need to take the ladder out here. It's got the nice leather seat with the suede inserts. It's only got 12,000. 12,738 miles, but if I don't sell it anytime soon, I will be going on a trip. I really love these units. They're hard to come by, especially in this price range. So, it's still low miles. We've got the touchscreen navigation system. Probably one of the best navigation system that I've messed with. Very user friendly. Lots of different things. Pretty screen, good resolution. Got Bluetooth for your phone. Sirius ready. Uh, what I did is I had an iPad and you can sync with the radio and get the audio from the iPad. This will stay very nice and sturdy holder. About a nice, I believe a seven inch color screen for the camera. I believe that's the cockpit. We've got heated power mirrors. This thing drives like a car, like I said, very comfortable. It's got keyless entry, power windows, locks. There's your kitchen area. Lots of storage up here. I do have all the books, all the owner's manual. This here is the cover cover the cockpit when you're sleeping. It's got all these Velcro tabs. Very easy to set up. This couch pulls out makes a bed. Well, somewhat of a bed for one person anyway. Maybe two small children. Got a gas electric refrigerator. Below 30 degrees. Very, keeps everything nice and cool. So it works on gas or electric. So when you're going down the road, you still have your refrigerator and it lasts a long time. It doesn't burn a lot of fuel. You got a heat pump for air conditioning. So it does heat and air. It's all ducked to the ceiling. So we parked at a campground. You don't have to burn propane to make heat. You can use the electricity. Got your, uh, all your gauges. That's your propane, battery, fresh water. It holds 50 gallons, I believe, of fresh water and 40 gallons of black, gray, and galley as a shower. That's got the Arctic pack. It's got a 12 volt heating element on all the holding tank. Keep everything nice and warm in the wintertime. There's your gas six gallon water heater. And it's got a generator. Got 118 hours. Well, sometimes it takes it a couple times to start. Started in a couple weeks, but it cranks. There's a switch outside to crank it up, also. Usually, it starts in a couple times. Obviously, since I'm doing a video, it's going to give me a hard time. But there's your stand up shower, got plenty of room. 
even for the tall guys or ladies, there's a skylight we can stick your head in there. Got the shampoo dispenser. It's got an automatic transfer switch, so when you do crank it up and you're plugged up, it, it all transfers by itself to power. And you've got air conditioning. It's on a digital thermostat. It's got a new carbon monoxide detector and smoke detector. Atomic clocks with temperature display. Got a nice, comfortable queen size bed. Memory foam mattress. Got a nice closet with light. Again, plenty of storage. Got a water filtering system, and the tank is under the bed, so you can have access to everything. Again, same TV up here. 24 inch smart TV with its own inverter, so it'll work even unplugged or without the generator running. Here you've got your uh, fantastic fan. It's thermostatically controlled, so when you're sleeping, you can set the thermostat and it can blow air away from you or on you. You can cho choose a direction, so that's kind of nice. Some more space. Uh, here we've got the bathroom, plenty of room. Again, more closet. I mean, storage space. Another fan. I believe there's like four fans in here. Two in the back, two in the front. I think that does it for the outside. Eh? I guess we'll turn the engine off. Might as well turn the generator off too so we can hear. Before I forget, I also replace all the lights with uh, LED lights. They burn a lot less electricity and generate a lot less heat and last a long time. All right. There's the awning. Go ahead. That awning is really nice. All right, that's good. Keeps you nice in the shade. Like I said, we've got new tires at 225, 75, 16. Very quiet, smooth. There's your water heater. There's some storage. There's your propane tank. It's got a gauge outside and inside. That's the exhaust for the gas furnace. That's behind the refrigerator. There's your batteries. They're fairly new. And another thing about these Class C is they've got so much storage. This is the, well, obviously it's not going to focus. Leave it open. We'll open the other side too. focus so you can put quite a bit of equipment a ladder a bicycle it's on the 30 amp service you've got lights it's your phone hookup which nobody uses that anymore but there's your outside shower that's your sewer connection water connection gas more storage Here you've got your generator it's an Onan, 4,000 watts, plenty of power. It's been serviced, oil change, filters, and everything. Again, if you're looking for a nice motorhome in light and new condition, and don't want to spend a hundred grand this is your ticket I've had many motorhomes and this is probably my favorite one by far so far just for the size 
equipment, how easy it is to maneuver, and it's affordable. We do take trade-ins. If you have any question, you can give me a call anytime. Toll free is 866-933-4680. Thank you for watching. Come and see us.